I'm now going to demonstrate how to actually submit or export your prototypes into a file rather than it being embedded into the Onshape online interface. To export your model to an actual file, all you have to do is right click on the part studio you'd like to export and then hit the export key. Once you hit the export key, you're faced with a options here. So the file name, you can name it like your name, or I can say Erdreich's Game Controller. Uh, the file format you want to select is STL. That's a standard file format for 3D printing. Binary is perfectly fine. The units, you actually want to make sure it says millimeter. Even though you're probably working in inches, you want to export to millimeters because most CNC equipment, such as 3D printers or end mills, actually use millimeters. Resolution is perfectly fine as medium and then options you want to select download. Now this export parts as individual files does this. If I were to leave this unchecked, these two controllers, these two halves of the controller, would export as a single file, which is fine if I wanted them to be the same color. But say I actually want to 3D print them separately in two colors, I could actually hit export parts as individual files, and it'll save two separate STL files per half of the controller. Then if I hit export, it's going to get ahead and download them to my computer. If I double click on this download, I'm actually going to separate the two halves and just move them to my desktop here. And I can actually preview them and show you that this is the one half of the controller and this is the second half. Now you should always name the STL file something specific to you. So again, I'm going to do Erdreich controller print in gray that's what I want the top half to be. And I can name the bottom half Erdreich controller to print in black. Just because you really want it to be specific. You don't want a generic name in case the file gets mixed up with other students' files. Then we actually need to go ahead and submit this to be 3D printed. So if you go to my website, we have a 3D printing hub located on the side here. And then you can actually go ahead and click the Submit Prototype button. If you're signed into a Madison account, it will automatically load. Here you can type in your name, your email address, tell me whether you're a teacher or a student, tell me what grade you're in, let me know what this is for. School projects and assignments kind of take a higher priority than something for interest in case it has to be graded. Um, you can also say Madison Makers if you're part of the club. To describe the prototype, if it's for a class, you could say this is for... Uh, Mr. E's project, please, I can't type today, please print in gray and black. Then to actually share it, you can type in either the link, which again, I don't really recommend only because sometimes the links get lost or they're not actually shared properly. And if you actually went ahead and downloaded the files, you can actually upload the STL or OBJ file. So if I were to select the two files that I downloaded, I can actually drag, um, apparently I can only upload one at a time here. So if I select the one STL file, then I can click add and select the second STL file. And I will have both parts uploaded to this form. Then when I hit submit, I will receive these parts and be placed into line for 3D printing my models.